happy anniversary. I'll always help you. What's the case? Pikeman. I'm not a child! Are you taking your meds? General Hospital latest update. Jason surprises Carly with a gift while Lucy's TV gig goes haywire. Ava's tampering with Sonny's meds raises eyebrows. Steve Burton hints at Jason and Carly's platonic future. Trouble brews as suspicion surrounds Ava. Tracy warns Brooke Lynn about marriage pitfalls. Alexis receives positive news but questions the risk. Sasha seeks clarity from Cody. Lucy takes charge at deception, but disaster strikes. Curtis confronts Nina's gossip. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, after watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital Spoilers, Jason flips out over Carly's confession, Lucy's TV disaster. General Hospital Spoilers for Saturday, April 13th, reveal that Sasha Gilmore, Sophia Matson, will enjoy helping Cody Bell, Josh Kelly, in the stables again but she'll wrestle with a few lingering doubts about her recent career decision. Sasha will ask Cody if she was crazy to leave Deception, but he might insist she was just following her heart. Cody may encourage Sasha to find something else she's passionate about since she just wasn't feeling modeling anymore. Meanwhile, Lucy Ko, Lynn Herring, will insist on handling Deception's new home and heart appearance herself. Since Blaze aka Allison Rogers, Jacqueline Grace Lopez, wasn't on board with selling products, shopping channel duties aren't included in her contract. Lucy will take the lead in Sasha's absence since Blaze refused to do this part, but Maxie Jones, Kirsten Storms, will have a bad feeling about Lucy's plan. Although Maxie will encourage Lucy to delegate some tasks, it doesn't look like Lucy will listen. Lucy may think she's got everything under control, but this home and heart appearance will quickly turn into a total disaster. At the Cordemain Mansion, Tracy Cordemain, Jane Elliott, will warn Brooke Lynn Cordemain, Amanda Seton, that disrespecting her husband is no way to start a marriage. Perhaps Brooke Lynn will object to Harrison Chase, Josh Swickard, selling his truck to pay for their Florence honeymoon and try to cancel it. Tracy may argue that Chase wants to treat his bride-to-be and doesn't need Brooke Lynn undermining his decision to offer a gift. Speaking of gifts, Jason Morgan, Steve Burton, will have one that he wants to give Carly Spencer, Laura Wright, as well. Diane Miller, Carolyn Hennessy, may worry that Carly won't accept it, but Jason will insist he can work things out with her. Since Jason knows Carly lost her half of the Metro Court, he may plan to do whatever it takes to get it back. Carly wasn't willing to accept help from anyone before, but will she accept help from Jason? If Jason makes Nina Corinthos, Cynthia Watros, an offer she can't refuse, maybe he can finally turn Carly's dream of running the hotel again into a reality. In the meantime, Nina just blabbed to Drew Kane, Cameron Matheson, Michael Corinthos, Chad Duell, and Curtis Ashford, Donnell Turner, about Carly sleeping with John Jagger Cates, Adam Harrington, but she's got it all wrong. Carly just stayed the night with John to monitor him for signs of a concussion after his attack, so Nina is spreading lies without grasping the full story. On Friday's General Hospital episode, Curtis will insist that was uncalled for, so he may scold Nina for poking her nose where it doesn't belong. As for Carly, it looks like she'll pay Jason a visit in his new office and admit she did something he's not going to like. Carly may offer updates on how she came to John's rescue, so Jason may flip out since Carly has no idea John's leverage is all about her. John's been threatening to send Carly to prison if Jason doesn't cooperate, so Jason will be furious if he feels like John is now personally manipulating her. Will Jason warn Carly that John is bad news and not someone she should be hanging around with? Across town, Alexis Davis, Nancy Lee Gron, will give Gregory Chase, Gregory Harrison, a positive report since her appeal is moving forward, but she'll still wonder if all this is a risk she can afford. The more hope Alexis gets about becoming a lawyer again, the further she has to fall if it doesn't pan out. General Hospital spoilers say Gregory will urge Alexis to stick with her fight to get her law license back, so we'll bring you more predictions on her case outcome. Today's next update, Ava gets blamed for Sunny's med tampering, Morgan mistake comes back to haunt? General Hospital spoilers reveal that Ava Jerome's, Maura West, 
behavior has been causing confusion for plenty of fans. It's obvious that Ava is manipulating Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard, on some level, like when she hid Sonny's phone so that she could be the one to deliver the news about Dante Falconeri, Dominic Zamprogna, being awake. Ava has also been serving Sonny alcohol and acting like she's the only one he can count on, so there's definitely some scheming going on. That's led to speculation that Ava might be working with Valentin Cassidine, James Patrick Stewart, but a new development in General Hospital's April 10th episode could be a game changer. Ava went rummaging in Sonny's bathroom and took some of his meds in hopes of causing drowsiness. Since the pills didn't do anything, Ava found herself wondering what they were even good for. It's clear that Ava has no idea that Sonny's medication is being tampered with, so that's important to note. It's possible Valentine just hasn't told Ava that part. Or maybe Ava has her own personal agenda that has nothing to do with Valentine at all. Regardless, it was an odd writing choice for Ava to throw back Sonny's prescription to help her sleep. It was a rather contrived move that was meant to set up her discovery of the weak meds. Of course, there could be another intention behind having Ava do something so ridiculous. Now that Ava's been in Sonny's pill stash and has left her fingerprints all over the bottle, trouble could be brewing. That's especially true since Christina Corinthos Davis, Kate Monsi, Dante and others around town are growing more suspicious of Ava. Will Ava end up getting blamed for tampering with Sonny's meds? Since Ava messed with Morgan Corinthos, Brian Craig, bipolar medication in the past, that mistake could certainly come back to haunt her. Even if Ava tries to alert Sonny to his weak meds herself, Christina might accuse her of trying to play the hero and pull Sonny closer. Our predictions hint that it could seem like Ava's setup, and Valentine may be all too eager to let Ava take the fall. General Hospital spoilers say Ava could land in a tight spot any way you slice it, so stay tuned for updates on the dramatic fallout ahead. Today's next update, Steve Burton shuts down Jason and Carly romantic story, leaks prediction on next chapter. General Hospital spoilers reveal that Steve Burton, Jason Morgan, recently offered a prediction when it comes to his character's next chapter and any romantic turn Jason might take. Despite Jason's profound love for Carly Spencer, Laura Wright, Burton seems convinced the writers are going to keep it in platonic territory. On a new episode of the Daily Drama podcast, Steve Burton offered his opinion on what happens next. When Bradford Anderson, Damian Spinelli, posed the question of whether Jason would try to get Carly back romantically, Burton had an interesting response. I don't think that's the way they're gonna go, Burton admitted. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if that's the way, but you know. Anderson said it didn't seem to be a priority in terms of storytelling, so Burton quickly agreed with that. Although Burton obviously can't confirm what General Hospital writers might ultimately decide to do, it's clear that he just doesn't envision Carly and Jason reigniting any kind of romance moving forward. This lines up with what Laura Wright has said in multiple SOD interviews of her own since she doesn't think Carly and Jason's romantic relationship can truly happen with Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard, around. Jason is already on Sonny's bad side, which is certainly not where he wants to be. In Jason's perfect world, he would restore his friendship with Sonny while keeping his bond with Carly intact. That could be harder to pull off if Jason gets romantically involved with Carly, so it seems like something Jason would want to avoid. In other words, it was one thing for Jason to surrender to a romantic connection and get together with Carly while Sonny was presumed deceased. It's quite another for Carly and Jason to pursue a romance with Sonny there to watch it play out. The Nixon Falls storyline was a completely different set of circumstances that allowed Jason and Carly to take that romantic turn. Now it seems like the writers want to keep Carly and Jason as friends, based on the vibes Steve Burton's apparently getting from scripts. General Hospital spoilers say Jason and Carly will still remain intertwined, so stay tuned for updates on how Carly will react to the news of Jason fighting so hard to protect her. Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.